The Savage Bull Terrier is an absolutely incredible breed known for their courageous nature, intelligence and love for companionship with their family. In today's video I'll be sharing with you whether or not the lovable Staffy likes to swim. Welcome back to the Fenrir Staffy Show. If this is your first time here, my name's Hattie. I'm a certified canine leader here at FenrirCanineLeaders.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier and then how to become high-level canine leaders that can raise perfect Staffies. So if you're a lifelong Staffy lover, you're thinking about getting one or you've just started your journey with your new Staffy, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn the notification bell so you never miss a future Staffordshire Bull Terrier video. So let's jump right into today's video and find out whether or not the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is a breed that likes to swim. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier shares a common ancestor with that of the Pit Bull Terrier and the Bull Terrier, the Bulldog. It was created in the 19th century to be a smaller and quicker fighting dog, but one who was gentle and kind towards people. They were most likely bred by crossing the Bulldog with an ancestor of the Manchester Terrier, which eventually developed into the Staffy that we know and love today. The very first Staffordshire Bull Terrier Club was formed in England in 1835. Most Staffies don't actually like being in water and are not known to be very good swimmers, but of course this is all dependent on the individual Staffy. You should take great care when you are with your Staffy around any watercourses, including ponds, rivers, lakes and the sea. Although it may come as a surprise, not all dog breeds are able to swim well due to their anatomy and physiology. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is not usually a great swimmer due to the size and weight of their head in proportion to the rest of their body, but in some cases of individual Staffies, there are exceptions. Breeds with a particularly large head, a dense bone structure, or a heavy muscle mass struggle due to the weight and lack of buoyancy to keep their heads above water and stay afloat. Every dog should be taken on a case-by-case -case basis as some dogs will take to being in the water much better than others do. Plus you should always be carefully supervising your dog when it's in water until they have proven their ability and willingness to swim. How you introduce any breed of dog to water when they're a puppy will play a massive role in whether or not they enjoy swimming or not. Any dog that is improperly introduced to water will likely not enjoy it and avoid it. They may even associate water with danger, depending on the experiences they've had as an individual pup. Whether your Staffy likes water at all can depend purely on how they've been introduced to it and whether they associate water with fear or with fun. You should still take great care when around any dangerous watercourses with your Staffy or any breed for that matter. Even though they are very strong dogs with a lot of stamina, Strong currents are difficult for anyone to fight against and with a dog that isn't physiologically built for swimming they could get themselves into lots of trouble. Hey guys a really quick message and I just wanted to let you know because we get a lot of questions about you wanting to see more videos of me and the team training dogs, real life sessions, our consultation work, puppy training through to behaviour modification and we have a whole dedicated channel for that called Fenrir Canine Training. There'll be a link in the description box below and if you want to come and follow our journey of work working hands-on with dogs and watching live sessions of how we go from teaching basic stuff with puppies all the way through to extreme behavior modification, that's over on the Fenrir Canine Training Channel. I'm sure you'll love it and I can't wait to see you over there as well. The Staffy is an intelligent breed and when they're well-bred and in the right hands, they can be quite easy to train. It is common for this breed to have a slightly stubborn element in them, which means you need lots of patience to consistently train your pup. You should train your Staffy with a firm but gentle hand, as although they are a strong-willed breed, they are also pretty sensitive in nature. Their love for their human companions makes them extremely eager to please you. They benefit greatly when they have a calm and consistent leader. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is an incredibly people-orientated dog breed and does not tolerate being left on their own and can even suffer from separation anxiety. Their sensitivity and strong devotion to their beloved human companions can cause this. So if you're looking for a dog that can be left alone, then the Staffy is not going to be the right breed for you. You can train your dog to be left alone for very short periods of time, as long as you start this training from a young age. Being dogs that genuinely enjoy the company of people makes their playful personality great in a family setting. They are not a one-person dog and absolutely love, as I mentioned before, to play with all the family. They need to be in a family that has the time and are willing to play with this high energy breed in order for them to maintain a happy and healthy life. A Staffy's high intelligence means that they need to have lots of mental stimulation to prevent any destructive behaviours from developing. They are a high energy active breed that need a minimum of one hour of energetic exercise each day. 
The more exercise that you're able to give your staffy, the more relaxed that they will be in the home, having released their energy on a long walk. They are impressively athletic dogs with a muscular build and have actually been known to easily jump tall fences without much effort at all. Being intelligent dogs, they also need a lot of mental stimulation to prevent boredom, which as an owner you will need to be able to provide. If you're looking for a dog that can fit into your already active lifestyle, then the Staffy may be a great choice for you as long as you can train and socialise them as they need. I hope you enjoyed today's video and if so, make sure you hit that like button, get involved in the comment section below and don't forget that if you're new here to make sure you subscribe. We have two dedicated Staffy videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again on the next episode of the Fenrir Staffy Show.